Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of fixed and variable expenses. This is standard 4.10a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 12 of the 2022 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Trina lives in an apartment, and these are some expenses that Trina paid for three months. We've got January, we've got February, we've got March, and our expenses are kind of marching down the left-hand side here. So she's paying rent, water bill, electric bill, and then she's paying for some cable, television. Okay, so which expenses were variable during these three months? All right, so... There are two different terms that we need to know before we walk into this, and we don't see definitions for any of these, either in this problem or on our mathematics chart, so we need to know both of these. All right, so these two, fix, these two types of expenses, fixed and variable, are different, and they talk about different types of things that we pay for on a... Uh, semi-regular basis, all right? So fixed. Now this is kind of a confusing one because when we think of something fixed, we think of something that used to be broken, but now it's repaired. But there's another definition of fixed that we're using here. So think about when something is fixed to the ground. That means it is stable, or that means it, it doesn't move, right? So if I were to fix uh, something to the ground with uh, with a screw or a nail, then it's not going to move or it's not going to change. We do that sometimes when we work puzzles. Sometimes we'll get some puzzle glue and we'll fix it so that it doesn't come apart, so that it stays together like a picture. So fixed expenses are those that are ones that do not change. They're stable. So variable, then, are going to be the opposite. They're going to be unstable. And that means they are going to change. And in this case, uh, they're going to change based on usage. And that's kind of the way to tell the difference between the two. Okay. So let's think about, like, rent. Okay, you notice how rent all the way across, 1500, 1500, 1500. Okay, rent is paid for staying in an apartment or staying in a house. You get the entire house each month or the entire apartment each month. It's not like you're paying per room. So they're going to give you one cost for that house or that apartment and you get to use all of it the entire month. And since each month basically has the same amount of days or all around 30-ish, 30, 31, usually it's gonna be fixed with just one cost per month because you just get this, the whole usage every single month. Now take a look at this water bill, 32, 28, 38. These can change, so these are gonna be variable based on how much water you use. Maybe you ran your dishwasher more in March than you did in February. Maybe if you're at a house, you water the lawn, and that's going to cause water. Maybe you took longer showers. All of these things are going to change how much you use your water, so this is going to be variable. Same with the electricity. Electricity, you notice, changes from January to February to March. We used a lot. Okay, so maybe we had to uh, really crank up the heat, and your heat is electric rather than gas in January because it's really, really cold, and that caused your bill to go up because you used more electricity. Then you notice this cable TV. You get all the channels every single month. Whether you use them or not, they're going to charge you for it. So this is a fixed income. So you notice in our list here, we just have two bills that are variable, that means they change based on how much we use the water or use the electricity. It's these two right here. So our answer is F, 